How we doing, guys? Welcome back. So, last time we did do a bit more Vindicare training on a, at the end of a long chain of missions, including Coup Bloom Assaults, which the first one went hard, the second one was, quite frankly, a joke. I'm worried that there's that much of a difference. The only differences I could see in those missions was, like, the Technophage difference. Like, I actually don't know what else caused the difficulty spike in that mission, but other than that, Everything seems to be going pretty well so far. We do have a couple of wounded people slowly making their way back up. Uh, we are starting the work on the regen unit. This will all be finished at the same time. We do have a Terminus Hide mission left out of the last batch. Do need to deal with this before it becomes a problem. These missions are hard enough already. This will mean we'll probably end up with more injured people because it's impossible to avoid damage in these missions. And the glorious deed does involve doing it without healing so that's that's going to be painful let's be honest so with all that in mind tech's just looking pretty good so let's get on with this i probably will do this start heading out this way have a fight with this ship and we'll see i don't think we can get back to a position where we're likely to be able to get to this like we can't make it all the way over here before this mission times out and the next bloom wave happens so that we could make it all the way back over to end up near this. So we may end up slooping down in the hopes of going up. But we'll just have to see how that goes, I guess. So this has to come first. I, I get the strong feeling the more you let it build, the worse it is. And it's already bad enough. I may do an experiment at some point. Maybe towards the end of the campaign when I have full levels and I can risk it as, it's, uh, as it is. That I could maybe, um... Oh, we're really struggling on the loading there. I'm sure that... that doesn't... I haven't seen this one in a while. This used to be a bug when uh, Duty Eternal actually came out. But it's just... It's trying to load the transition animations. And I don't know what causes that stuttering. But anyway, what was I saying? Um, yeah, I may do an experiment at some point to trying to let one of these go up. And then we trying to take out like a four or five. I assume it goes to a five. I don't really know. Um, see how difficult that is. But other than that, I don't particularly plan on letting them build up. We do have a couple. I mean, this and this primarily are the good rewards. Storm Bolter. I mean, you're rolling on Storm Bolt with so much. It's, it's unlikely to ever give you anything good. Should be five requisition. That will be a lot of requisition. Possibly enough for either for us either to get a tier three assassin weapons or just get in a, an Eversaur out. I'm more tempted by the Eversaur right now. We do have the Grandmaster Report coming up. And we don't know how much we're going to spend on these. So we'll wait till after the mission to decide it. That is a lot of requisition. So I have to risk it. This is a risk. Do not be mistaken. So... This comp is alright for this sort of mission. Remember the concept of this mission. You cannot disengage, so you cannot use your resets. So, honestly, as much as the Vindicare would probably be good for popping up and destroying one of the um, germs, I think they're called, in these missions, he is going to struggle from not benefiting from the executes. So with that in mind, I think we go Purifier and we do a similar plan... To what we did with the bloom assaults you send the purifier and the just car one way you send the interceptor and the pergate the other way and you try and chain the execute pulls so that you're always getting um resets and that way you should be able to move through this mission a lot faster we do thankfully get all of our stratagems but make no mistake this is not going to be easy because i'm worried particularly about the just car um, just the constant damage that's going to come in. We should be able to get through this a lot quicker than we got through the last one, but I'm well aware this is going to be uh, a tougher mission than the previous ones.
My agents report a cult has been illicitly accessing this area for several weeks. Should those same agents not have done something prior to our intervention? This cult was not deemed a priority, Brother Ektar. At least, until now. So basically, they already fucked up. By the time you're getting to this, it's beyond a priority. So we have, what, so the hive is presumably in the middle again? Yep. But it's a different tile of map. Okay. This is a lot more spread out than the other map was. So I'm assuming bottom right, top right, back, basically back, and then back left, and then front right. Okay, so that's interesting. You are going to have access routes after you've dealt with this and this to go straight in for the hive. It's a lot easier to access once you've done the full loop, but this uh, map definitely leans itself more, I'd say, in favour of a 2-2 split than the other map did. You can actually stay together for the first bit, presumably to find the first pack, and then go from there. So that's interesting. Again, I'm assuming we're not going to have resets, so I do have to be wary of sending people to stand next to each other, because uh, that cost us a lot last time. I think... Who has the most health? Purgator. Okay, I think the Purgator needs to go furthest forward then. On the assumption that he might take a hit. Or at least be able to take a hit and get away with it. But I do need to get people forward eventually. So let's get you one forward. We'll do this slowly one at a time. These missions require a lot of setup. Or at least the one I've done should have been done with a lot more setup than I gave it. We are getting close there. I'm assuming the Terminator can't leap that wall, whereas the other two might be able to. Okay, so there's a pack there. We're not going to be able to attack that till next turn, which is going to be annoying. Can you run all the way to that wall corner? Again, I'm going to spread out as much as I can, but I don't think in this confined area it's actually going to be possible to avoid two people getting hit, which will be very annoying. In which case, do I just ignore the setup? Because there is a rule. Uh, no, I don't want to trigger them yet. Okay, so you stay here. If I push him further out, there's a chance he'll trigger it. So that's probably a, in range to get hit, annoyingly. Um, I think I'm okay with you guys possibly getting hit together. So let's make the thing hit these guys, because they both have armor. And the thing was only doing, like, one damage, then the poison. It's the poison that's going to be annoying, but nothing I can do about that. Might be another pack there. We have to bear all such. I don't know which pair it's going to target. It should hopefully target them. You can just wait your turn out. Yeah, that's fine. Because it should hit the armor initially. It was... Okay, did it did a bit of plague. But it doesn't look like it's going to last long. Pathetic! It was, like, one damage. Probably lasting a few turns, don't get me wrong, but... Okay. So now we need to start chaining it. So in theory, you guys with the easiest um, attack point go in here. Need to get you as far forward as possible. I may need to use Quicksilver or something to get the grenades out initially. But there's a couple of resets there for the... Uh, Interceptor. I might not even need to... St uh, no, stun grenades are still best here. As, as bad as it may look, stun grenades are still better on the account of getting AP resets to the other team to keep this going. So I'm using Quicksilver early, but that's to try and reduce the number of mission turns. Yes, Commander. So in goes grenade one. I'm estimating, other than the reinforcements pack, both squads should probably meet two packs before we end up in the center. With the reinforcement packs, it depends which way they go as to how that interaction will work out. But this should be good enough for a start. I am his will. These guys annoyingly do have the mutations, but it appears we got away with it. Got the AP reset. I'm actually going to use that to get him forward. Yes, Interceptor, teleport forward. Just rip through all of this. Like, this squad should have no problem clearing. 
It's the other squad I'm slightly worried about, because they don't have an interceptor. Just gonna ignore the seeds. Not really got the time to mess around with that sort of thing on this map. So gonna do that, kill him. That gives you a ton of AP. You, considering you're going to have the extra AP, go hit that at least once, if not twice, depending on the crits. Yep. So why I was interested in the Vindicare is I figured he might be able to pop one at long range. Don't think it was entirely necessary. Honestly? Where's the next seed? All the way over there. Okay, that's going to be annoying to get to. But... Perhaps I could blow this wall out the way? I don't particularly want to run him through there yet. Although that is an option. I am with Let's see what the other team can do. That, that, that's definitely the best place to put the Purgator. It's what's going on over here. So, with them... First, let's check this plate buff. So, it's two damage, but it's one turn. That shouldn't be too bad to bear if we can get the next one to hit the other squad. I know they're not armoured, but I can't let this guy get take too many wounds because I think he's actually got the least health. So anything over here, is it just the plan? It's just the plan. In which case, can you run forward and just crit that to death? Using willpower, obviously, but hopefully it avoids having to spend multiple willpower just trying to keep that under wraps. And then you guys can run at the next one. Honestly, the uh, Purifier might just be able to nuke the next one into Oblivion, which would be hilarious to watch. So, you have five. Let's see if we can detect a pack over there. We cannot, and I don't think you're going to trigger line of sight if we go there. Those two are now far enough apart that they aren't going to trigger the thing. Okay, there is a pack on the far side of the wall. We'll deal with that next turn. Well, they're going to move is the problem. So they'll end up in the middle of us. Which is fine. Actually, yeah, that's fine. So the question is, what do I do with him? Because I can't engage this. Over there, there's probably a pack between the two at minimum. Assuming we don't have a line of sight. I wonder whether I could shoot through the window. That might seem weird, but... So free movement is to there. Lightning strike is the only reset we have left I'm aware of. But that is a good place to put him. It's just I don't know whether I'll have enough damage to get all this through. Okay, there's a pack on the edge. That's actually fine. Because that means I can head over here and kill this one instantly without having to worry about it. As you command. And that's free... Oh, never mind, I triggered it. Triggering it's actually fine if we're all the way over there, because they shouldn't come close. And in fact, it brings them towards these guys, so we can use uh, more stuns. Like, all that matters is that he guarantees the kill on that. But there's no way those two actually get him ready to do anything. Mercy in death. And that's free seeds down. He gets plagued, that's fine. These guys... Ran basically into the purifier. They should fall back though, which means they're vulnerable to grenade. Ideally, I'd love to stun them rather than um, kill them with a grenade. He hits him again. Okay, that's just unlucky. But it's not the end of the world. He, he might get wounded again. He's already wounded, but it's not the end. I sense the enemy converging. Okay, so there's three packs left at the moment. <laughs> I should specify at the moment. One is there somewhere. One is there, and then there's these two here. So, Purgator... Do we have enough for another chapter set up? Because here's what I'm thinking. Purgator, engage this slot in particular. Because then you could you no, because you don't have enough stun grenades. That's annoying. I was hoping maybe to try and get stun grenades off so that we could 
teleport over, get a bunch of executes, then get executes over here to then get over there and then do that stuff. That would be a very efficient way of doing it, but I don't know how the setup of that is actually going to work out considering where we are on the map. So. You hit him. And this does knock back. That might work. Because that should knock him back close enough to get stun grenaded. It's easier to set up than the grenade, than like trying to frag him. That's fine, he can do whatever he wants from there. But then we can do this. Wait, why is it not is it flashing that bad guy? It is, it's just very soft, okay. Do you have to be careful with that? Sometimes it's not always obvious when you're actually hitting them or not because of cover and weird shenanigans. Okay, so he's going to be on one. It's going to be annoying to get around. Definitely might need to see if I can get some execute set up from the other side. Because I don't think this guy is going to be able to reach all the way over there. Why are you having to avoid all of this? Surely it's easier to go through there... That pathing seems wrong to me. I guess it doesn't matter, because that's one and that's one. Okay, so let's see if we can get an execute anywhere else, because that's going to be key. The only place I can get an execute is over here. Which will require another chapter, which will reduce our movement over there anyway, but I guess it'll be worth it if we can get an execute off. But to set it up, I think it's easier if you teleport here. Yeah, teleport to there. This is going to be a lot of shuffling trying to get efficient. That should mean this guy has to come forward. Okay, there's two of them. Good. I was hoping there'd be more than one. So, what options do we have and are they in grenade range of each other? They are not. That is annoying, but not the end of the world. As ordered. So how much stun do you have? Nine and seven. This does five. Grenade does one. So we need a shot. So one of the chapter him has to happen. We'll leave that for a sec over there until I can figure out what's going on. One forward. Grenade over. Knowing I can't get the grenade to exactly where I want it. Although I could... Actually, it still works if I move one yeah. further forward, so that, that's fine. We can do that there. Then grenade him back into the other guy. Hopefully doesn't get like a stun resistant mutation or anything. Stun. This is all about trying to set up executes to get more executes. This is gonna get complicated, I'll be honest. So then You have to teleport onto that guy, not onto the other guy. Shoot him once. That's to avoid getting killed while stunning him. That support fire is not an issue because that's not going to kill him. Right, now come off of shoot and get the execute. That'll give a whole bunch of action points that'll let us do the rest of this sequence. See them fall, brothers. Yeah, so now I'm gonna pop the crit buff. I could have popped it at the start of the turn, but this is the turn I need crits to go in. Because I need this guy stunned on this guy's turn. So I need to hit him, uh, pick the stun crit, uh, perk twice, and then kill him. I say perk, it's injury, I guess would be best the way of describing it. 
Thankfully, this guy's tough enough that even my interceptor doesn't have the damage to get him through him with two crits, which is quite a, quite rare, I'll be honest. Although we don't have the apothecary buffing him all that stuff, so that's something to keep in mind. But that lets me get the execute here. Now that does mean dealing with the pack that's over here is going to be annoying at best. So. I think frags might be in order. If I could get a frag that hits this as well, that'd be good. I don't think you have any other viable option, so how far does this drop? Just onto them. Okay. So it still hits the main guy. That's actually important because he's got a lot of health. But I don't think I have to worry about moving. Yeah, it shouldn't hit me if I'm there. It will be now they should fire. But then we can do that and hopefully deal a lot of damage to these two. Okay, I'd call that a lot of damage. Not sure it's enough to make this all work out, like, perfectly, but it's the best I had. I strike true. Because you've got 5 AP now. But a lot of health to go through. You two over here should now have the AP. Why can I not move? Oh, because three for you is there for some reason. Are you hobbled? No. That feels a very short charge distance. Oh, because there's three. Okay, that's fine. So you need to get to here. I'm still not sure he's in range, actually. That's... That's worrying. Um... I could fix this with a grenade, though. Okay, so let's see if we can get into range. That's the furthest we can move. But, yeah. This is going to be a little bit of shenanigans. Yeah, he's not in range. Okay. But what we could do... And while we do lose an execute, we might... How, how far can you get? You can get to there. That knockback should be far enough. It needs to knock him too. We do lose this guy, but that's not the biggest deal in the world if it cleans everything else up. So I put it there. This guy should be blown off the cliff. That guy should be stunned there. That lets get another execute in. Okay, didn't knock the other guy off the cliff, but... Still manageable, I believe, because now he can get through onto him and we'll put him as close as possible. Delete the tough one. So to the unworthy. This guy's still alive. I suppose since I can't get to this this turn, I might as well crit him. Take the seed and kill him with the pur uh, purifier. This probably was a better way of resolving it, but going through piece by piece, it would have been messy either way. So now the purifier can step forward to maintain distance. I think I kill him. Oh, he's not got that available. Yeah, I think I just punch him with the purifier. And then the Justigar can run towards the uh, germ. And then he can run all the way over there. It doesn't get rid of that seed this turn, but it's it's good enough, I believe. So, no easy way of killing either of these. At least straight up killing them. Do have plenty of AP to work with, though. So let's start by grabbing this. So this guy is now pretty much irrelevant. He can just be left, I believe. Extracted. Can I move away from him? I could if I wanted to. I'm more worried about that guy, though. Um, step to the other side of him so you're close to the other guy, and then do it again. I think I need two shots on him. 
which is annoying. Is there a grenade that works for this setup? I have to be very precise about this. If there is a path, it's like a pixel wide. It's there. But does that leave me enough to kill that other guy? So it's 2 AP to get over there either way. So do I not just shoot him twice with a cyborg to make it do more damage? Yes. This is the best I can do anyway. Where I really wish I had support fire for the other guy. So how much? So he's on 13. You should do a lot with a crit, and that support fire kills him. That lets him melee that to kill him. That's how you do it. Um, pick that off. It doesn't particularly matter. I believe he's dead either way, unless he takes more health, which is possible, annoyingly. But in that scenario, the interceptor runs over, kills him, and I leave the plate bearer up. Okay, and then you just need to stab this guy to death. Enemy down. So, thing's gonna fire again. It can hit either pair, I believe. Yeah, annoyingly it takes this guy again. I would have preferred this to hit the other side, although that only plagued that guy. So plague should be over for the Justicar. It works very weirdly, because I'm never sure if these stack in duration. Okay, the gained armor, that's not the biggest deal in the world if we just crit them to death. But the crit was definitely required in that last turn for um, ensuring that everything died and we got the crit resets we needed. So you need to go all the way over there. And how much is it free over there? But you'll get the crit reset and then let you teleport back. Yeah, this works. This just gets rid of this plan. Guide my hand. What about all the other ones we've blown up? You haven't got a problem with me killing any of them. Uh, doesn't particularly matter. You don't have enough to guarantee the crit annoyingly. What's your base crit chance? 45%? Don't think I have any way of getting around that. That's a status boon, so I can't purify it with that, I believe. So, yeah, I guess we just have to hit it and hope we get a crit on one of these. Full strike is just more damage. Yeah, that doesn't matter if we crit, so there's no point wasting that willpower. Vengeance. Okay, that didn't get it. One more time. That one got it. Okay. That being dead is a massive boon. Because now we can pop in on Gate of Infinity and land right next to the Hive. This will save a lot of movement for people getting into position. I do believe it's only the Purgator and the Purifier that will do the majority of the damage. Because we haven't got a way of guaranteeing this crit anymore, annoyingly. But, what are you going to do? Um, so I think the highest damage to that you can do is just to throw grenades at it, Mr. Purifier. So would you please do that? But I think before that, can, is this able to inflict vulnerable? No, it's immune to all afflictions, so you can't do vulnerable on it. So it's just going to be double grenade into whatever else is left. For the Emperor. Grenades in first so they don't hit the uh, interceptor. Taste my fury. It's a decent amount of damage. It's 18 damage just from grenades, so hardly a trivial thing. You, however, do need to do as much damage as possible. Like, because it's demon, it counts as a demon, and support fire kicks in, he should absolutely wreck this. But the interceptor might not need to do anything, because it might just die. Blessed ammunition depleted. Oh, he's out of ammo. Uh, well, in which case, you can throw your grenade and... Uh, do I let the interceptor kill it? Have you got a guaranteed kill? No, but I believe we can try and force the kill. And he failed. 
Why am I not surprised he failed? Do I have a place where I can throw this where it doesn't hit him? Yes, right on top of where the reinforcements are coming in. Come Mission on. done. Much less painful than the last time when you split the team in two like that. But well we were lacking a bit of the reset. I don't know whether the purifier was worth bringing. I think a t uh, either a chaplain or an apothecary, actually. Apothecary might work better with the grenade armor. So you have the Justicar and the Apothecary both in Terminator armor running one way so they can set each other's um, executes off and that lets the Intercept and the Perker to do their job of looping around a lot better. Might be better than what we're doing. I don't think any assassin is a good idea to bring on these missions due to the fact that assassins have no health whatsoever and no armor whatsoever so they will just melt if that thing ever targets them. Probably do have the Justicar injured, but was unavoidable. It just seemed to keep targeting him. It probably extends his thing, but we do have the wound recovery rate in coming in as an upgrade, so that should counteract that a bit. So that was seven seeds, five wreck, not a bad choice. Do any of these do anything good? That's not particularly relevant. That is the, hey, have you, fought a t have you fought a knight? Well, this is the hammer for you. Not particularly useful in most circumstances, although on some of the later missions where the knights, the uh, the war dog, sorry, comes in, that is definitely an option. The ammo one is actually not bad. The main reason being Purgator and Purifier both have damage scaling based on ammo. It's very rare you would give them this. The only reason would you would give them this is if you're going in deliberately to go fight a boss. In which case, this becomes amazing. So, I might pick that up. This... Isn't it a bad bolter? But it's free requisition for not a bad bolter instead of a great one. So, I'm going to hold off on this and try and get a um, assassin. Or both assassins, maybe. And so... We'll pick up this and leave it there. I don't think anything changed in the wounded. So nothing bad happened there. So the mission basically was as good as we're going to get it. Right. So that's all done. We do now have enough requisition to do a lot of things. This is in four days. And as far as I'm aware, we're only going to need to spend the two. Because we do have... Um, knights not fully upgraded. So that's a thing. But I'll leave it here for this episode. And I will see you guys in the next one.